We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. That's so awkward. Sorry about that. Okay. We got a package from GBT. Let's see what they sent me. I was waiting to film to open it up so I could show y'all too. Oh yeah. Some more tank tops, baby. Let's go. Some different colors so I'm not wearing the same thing all the time. I'm just kidding. I know what all this is. I, I bought it. So they didn't send me anything. I bought all this. I went ahead and ordered my uh, my singlet because I want to see how I how I look in it. And this singlet is freaking dope, man. And they got the coolest stuff. If I can open it. I look you want to put this on right now. This is actually really dope. Look at that. I'm gonna be rocking this bad boy June 3rd, baby. I went ahead and bought a uh, a white compression t-shirt to go with this, just so I'm not rocking it on bare skin. But quick example of what this looks like. Dude, I'm mm -hmm. ah, I'm getting some mean PR in this thing. Yeah, you know the drip, you know the vibe. So this is an XL. The compression's off Amazon XL. Oh, TD, Fox, Nike, Academy. We're not wearing this to the gym. I might wear this when I max out, just to get used to it while I'm hitting some big numbers. But not for today. Today we have a heavy leg day. I'm gonna film the whole leg day, show y'all what I what I usually do, how I usually train. Today I have to go hard because next week's a deload week, and you have to earn your deload week. So the week before your deload week, you go extremely hard. You go as hard as you can because you know that next week you're taking it easy. You're t you're laying back. You're not really training that hard. So the week before your deload week, you always go hard. So that's what we're doing today. Now that I got these new tank tops, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna rock one of these. I'm gonna throw throw one of these on, make an outfit out of it, um, pour up some pre, and then me and Isaac are gonna head to the gym. What's up? <laughs> okay, so Pete the Drip decided to go with the cream color one today. Regardless of the drip, we're gonna get into these tempo squats. We're starting off with tempo squats. Gotta warm up the hips though, because you know, I'm extremely tight. I'm always really tight. I didn't say this earlier, but we got Isaac recording today. Thankfully, he came through. It's, it's super hard to record by myself. Like recording, recording on your own is actually kind of difficult, especially like you're vlogging or something, like getting a bunch of different angles. That's why I don't really record the whole workout. Having someone else do it is by far like, Super, because it's a hands-off. I don't have to worry about it. I can just say what I want to say, and he gets a good angle. Appreciate Isaac. W Isaac in the comments. We're just gonna start warming up these hips, and we'll get into the workout. This is how I like to uh, put on my stuff. So I got my deadlift slippers, and I got my knee sleeves. As I'm warming up, I kind of put them right there, and then before I hit my working set, I'll slide them up, put them on, and then good to go. So this is kind of how I situate my shoes and knee sleeves right before I start warming up, just so it's ready to go. I forgot how, forgot how tempo felt. It's actually a lot harder than I thought. Four sets of six, probably gonna stop at 455 maybe. I gotta play it humble, we got a hard workout. I lied, hold on, I take that back. We gotta go hard this week, we gotta deload next week. We gotta deload next week, what am, I, what am I talking about? We're going hard, are you kidding me? Okay, set one done. It's not so much of it being heavy or a weight thing. It's most more like a, it's like a cardio thing. Cause like, I'm going down for four seconds. So I'm holding my breath for four seconds on the way down. Five seconds with the pause. Then I'm driving up out of the hole. So it's like I'm holding my breath the whole time. Plus with 405 pounds in your back for six reps. So it's like exhausting. So I might go up because I guess I caught myself, huh? The weight's not the problem. So, <laughs> so I might just still go up to 455. It's because the suck's not gonna go away, but at least we can throw the weight up a little bit because we're supposed to go hard. Minimal rest time, let's get it. Mind if I use this? Yeah. Ah! Come on.
didn't know about that last one, but I did it. I Moving on to good mornings. That was rough. Pistol popping like it's 1999. I was nine, maybe ten. Then again, never mind. Press for wine, back in time. Before rappers dropping dimes, trap or die, chopping pies with cliches all in they rhymes. That was Gucci, Prada, and anything designer. Money, power, the whole enchilada. Commas, dollars, the greens and the guava. They serve you to your flocker if you disrespect that blocker. Block the choppers on these choppers, fuck these choppers. I'm a brother like Tupac or Biggie Popper. Yeah, you out of, but I'm out of. Car jack and pistol packing, motherfucking choppers clapping. Metal jacket, automatic magazines. Head on traffic, fender smashing, windows crashing, pants sagging. Fuck your fashion. Yeah, a nigga run Manhattan. Back in Cali's where it happened. Gucci, Scotta, and anything designer. Groupies, poppers, they all gonna swallow. Cause it's problem. The robbers, the goons and the goblins, they hating a lot of Madula Bungada. From New York, San Andreas, The reason I'm using this plate here instead of just the floor is because I'm short. It gives me like more range of motion when I'm going into the split squat. So if I didn't have it there, I wouldn't be able to go as far down. But having it there elevates my front leg and allows me to get more range of motion. Makes it suck more, but we're trying to get better here. That look good. Nigga, what's bragging? I'm really out here bowling on the west. Okay, so these are hamstring curls. If you don't have a hamstring curl machine, these are like an alternative you can do. The hamstring curls with a dumbbell. Isaac already handed it to me because he was recording. But basically, you just go down, go back up, like a regular hamstring curl, but you just got a dumbbell in between your legs and you just get your partner to hand it to you or somebody in the gym to hand it to you. And that's like an alternative if you don't have a like hamstring curl machine. So we're gonna have to know. Yeah, Maserati like Atari with no cockies, push the start it, new Bugatti, two Bugattis, test the roast, the blue Ferrari, Lamborghini, system bumping, men that worry, rise the far, this the Soon after. Post workout goodness, reading some short ribs until he's on the grill. That was cool. <laughs> I'm gonna let these bad boys sizzle for a little bit. If you wanna see what I eat in a full day, um, the video should be out by now, my full day of eating. Uh, I filmed it two days ago, but it should be out by the time this is out. So check that out if you want to. I'll put that at the end credits of this video. So wait till that. Don't, don't leave that. I think she's done. It's so freaking good, dude. Mm. Mm. So the program I actually finished this morning so if you're interested in the program or working out how I work out, link will be in the description because I just finished it this morning. It's like based on exactly how I train. I'm going to challenge on this, so I'm in the video here. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment your favorite uh, post-workout meal. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video or vlog.